This video will show everyone how to turn a nice vintage Nucleus 500 scaler, probably made back in the 1980s, into a, or at least add, a sound card multi-channel analyzer output to use the Nucleus scaler's high voltage power supply and one stage of its preamp to replace those three to five hundred dollar boxes that you're seeing on uh, eBay these days for home gamma spectroscope use. This whole conversion will cost about two dollars and it's extremely simple to accomplish. This is the Nucleus 500 scaler. Uh, to the scaler I've added A simple RCA chassis mount audio output connector and I've added a C connector to the uh, MV whatever it's called connector on the back uh, so I can use different kinds of probes on it. The conversion is real simple all you need is a 50 cent point oh one microfarad disc ceramic capacitor and it's connected to the output stage of the first preamp. It's soldered in at the junction of the 2.7K ohm resistor, the 0 .005 microfarad capacitor that goes to the base of Q2. The base of Q2, the 0 .005 microfarad capacitor, and the 2.7K ohm resistor that junction is where you solder in the 0.01 microfarad disc ceramic capacitor. And I'll open this up and give you a look here. Right there is the, the junction, the disc ceramic capacitor, and the wire going off to the back panel. Less than two dollars worth of parts and you have a multi-channel analyzer output which uses the uh, freeware on the web for operation. There's PRA software and there's the Tremino software. I have found that the pulse shape of this output signal works particularly good with the Tremino software. For this demonstration, I'm also using the test fixture that comes with the Nucleus 500 counter. It's a about an inch and a quarter diameter crystal gamma scintillator probe with a test sample stand. And that'll be the scintillator. It would work much better of course with a two inch scintillator but it works pretty well with what you have here with what comes with the Nucleus 500 and you get pretty good results as you'll see in my next video. I'm going to stop this video because I don't know how to pause or anything here and uh, I'll start up a new one in just a second.